thought we our defense played outstanding. You know, the first half was was shut up. We know this team was good. It's very explosive. If you go back and watch the Georgia game, we talked about it all week long. This team is explosive. That number three is as good as anyone in the country. The quarterback's outstanding. For our defense to come out and play like that in the first half, you know, and throughout the game, I thought the defense had some big stops. It was good. Special teams, we know they were great on special teams. This was the best special teams that we played all year, and I thought they were great. You know, we got we, we got in the rhythm on special teams, get the block, scoop and score, just what we talk about. I thought Boutte fielded the ball all, all all week long, all game long, fantastically, and we you know we covered the kicks good. Offense, we struggled somewhat, but this was a good defense. Georgia struggled. Everybody they play struggled against them, and so then all of a sudden, you know, at the end of the game, we got the big drive. Those backs are outstanding. We picked up the blocks, the bliss, and all that stuff. And uh, I thought it was a good day. Initially, initially, you know, the thing was to get one first down. And then get another, and then another. Uh, uh, Arlene Darkwar just ran over a couple guys the first time he got the ball in his hand, and that kind of g gave us the momentum on the sideline. You just felt a lift. Nick made a play. You know, Grant made a couple plays on the drive. The next thing you know, we were going in. Rounds made a play. We we're going in to kick it. So, you know, the whole key is the, the trick is to one, make them use their timeouts, which they did. We accomplished that. Move the ball to get in field goal range. We accomplished that, and do most of it on the ground. We accomplished the three things and. To run the clock down is to five seconds because I know at five seconds then the game is over if we make the kick. Cairo's fantastic. You know we all know his struggles. They've been chronicled, and I don't know how this kid can make any field goals with what he's going through right now. You know I see him in the halls. He's, he's teary-eyed all the time. I just you know I just hope he can get over some of this and get back to being his his whole self. But uh, but it was just fantastic. And I told him at halftime, I said you're gonna win this game for us, so get it up, get up. And uh, and he did. You know what? I, I think this. I think the defense has done a f fantastic job. You been to practice all the tackling circuits that we've done after the first, after the second game of the season. I thought we we've tackled well throughout this whole this whole season. I love the way they're they're bringing players in and out. They are alternating the right guys. They are playing a lot of good players, and you know it's just it's just we, we are turning a corner and we're beginning to get better and better all over. Because I think what they do, they, they're beginning to buy in to what we're talking. They're beginning to buy in on the special teams. You know, I thought early on in the year, we played a lot of kids, and we still are playing young players, but they kind of didn't know the importance of special teams when when they, they would go out there and they give play up after play up. And all of a sudden, they're starting to feel the effects. Coach Lamb and, and, and Coach Jenkins are talking to them about every play, every time. And so this special team is starting to become a very, very good special team. Um, Coach Speedy and, and, and Coach Rollins was telling us, telling us the, the DBs in particular that we had to start fast, and we just we, we, we knew if we started fast, nobody could could, could play with us. Um, and we got a, the, the D line, Chris Davenport just played outstanding, um, and our linebackers, man, they they just they, they made it easy for me. I think it was a 27, but either way, uh, I'm every kick I go to, I, I feel comf comfortable and confident. It was just a, you know. A, I'm I'm just thankful for the coaches to being patient with me. I I didn't have a great night kicking off, and uh, you know the operation wasn't smooth on the 56 that I missed. So I'm just very thankful for for them and for the defense to playing outstanding and our offense to to putting us in that situation. So it's it comes down to to that kick, but it was everybody's effort, celebration, and uh, you know I I'm relieved that I've always wanted to get one. A game winning kick in college so I got that out of the way but it was more a celebration and uh, doing for my teammates and my family right after and b before too but it's I pointed to the sky and, and I said it's for him because it is definitely extra special and uh, I was eating um, pre-game meal with, uh, with the kickers and uh, I think a couple of linemen and uh, I was asking them uh, so uh, pretty much I was just realizing that it's my last homecoming ever you know if, uh, if I end up playing uh, in the next level, they don't have homecoming, so it, I wanted to just enjoy it, you know, just celebrate with my teammates, and, uh, so that, and it was funny that it came down to me winning for my team on my last homecoming, so I, I, I take a very special moment in my life. I mean, you can't, uh, as a quarterback, there's a couple throws I missed, but it, w it wasn't because of that. You can't worry about the rush, you can't worry about getting hit. Um, you just got to stay in there and deliver when you got guys open. I mean, we, the defense played great. They, they gave you so many opportunities to put the game away, and we didn't. And um, I think when that drive came, um, we, we everyone knew what we had to do, and we do practice uh, simulations just like that. CJ usually makes it harder. <laughs> we usually don't have that much time, so uh, everyone was calm and composed. We got it done. Is there an urgency 
We just we staggered a little bit. I got to hit more throws. Um, um, yeah, but I know we'll, we're going to come back, work hard this week, and we'll be ready for next week. Basically, um, I was feeling uh, felt the guy giving me a screen uh, screen action, and so uh, I just kind of took into consideration that I could drop back and uh, just get affect the throwing lane. And so uh, I I was hoping I would have caught it caught it and got me an interception, but uh, I tipped it and helped made a um, a big time play for the defense. So uh, I just just credit my my other guys that's around me uh, for being having that awareness and knowing where the ball is at and I made help make the play. I, I felt I felt like uh, you know it was a good offensive line. Don't get me wrong, it was a good offensive line, but uh, I had it uh, I had it set in my mind that uh, you know I wanted to impose my will on this team, and um, that's the that's the biggest thing that we preached all week: imposing our will on these guys. And that's what we came out and did tonight as a defense, imposed our will and wanted to take over the game. That's as well as we played as a defense this year. Uh, you know, we focus on just Coach CJ challenges us every week to start fast, to start fast, and that's been a big that's been a big thing. When we start fast, we we're gonna win a game nine times out of ten. But uh, you know, the Syracuse game, we didn't start fast. We came out kind of sluggish, and uh, you know, we just kind of built from that. And you know, we said after that game, enough is enough. You know, we want we don't want to lose anymore. And so we just adopted that mentality to impose our will on um, teams. Thing, the thing about us, when they tied up at 21-21, we was like, okay, this make this make us got to step our game up even more. And and that's been the biggest that's been the biggest challenge to us as a defense. We got to continue to gain uh, momentum and keep the game in our hands. And uh, if we keep it on keep the burden on our back, you know, we'll we'll be where we want to be because it only makes us stronger as a defense. Coach uh, Coach Dave. Coach CJ emphasized, you know, we need this. And I realized how important it was. And so um, I had to put it upon myself to make sure I get that first down. But at the same time, O-line did their thing as far as uh, that play. And, um, you know, we was able to get out of victory. You know, comparing it, it's, it's a new team. And you can see that by the guys, um, their determination and what you see on the sidelines. Everybody's up. Everybody's excited. Um, you know, last year we had a close one, I believe, and we let that slip through our hands. And so, you know, we remember that one. And uh, we know that with everybody that was coming to support us, you know, we couldn't let them down. We couldn't let uh, this coaching staff down. So, um, you know, it's just determination by everybody, the defense, special teams. They really uh, played real well. And um, they, I would say they won this game for us. And I was running. I was running around. <laughs> it was exciting. I was just running around. I didn't know what to do. Man. I've never won a game like this before. So. Did you make contact with anyone? Were there hugs or yeah, I, I I got far away from everybody. I didn't want to run anybody over or, something, or get hurt or anything. You ran more after the game than you did during I mean, I don't know. I was going around everywhere. Like I said, I didn't know what I was doing, but it was just fun. It was just fun um, to see uh, Devin walk out there smiling like that. It's just real great uh, to see that. And like I said, I hugged him after the game and told him this one's for him because we know um, we're playing for bigger than just this team. We're playing for Devin. The previous one, the guy, he, he was worried about Derek Strozier a lot. So um, he kind of let me through. And the tackle, well, the tight end, he, he kind of put an arm on me, but it wasn't as much as he, he should have. So the second one, when it came around, uh, Stro was like, he's worried about me too much. You could get through that. I was like, all right, I'm going to jump through. So all we can practice, Coach, um, Coach, the linebacker's coach, he, Coach Lamb, he told us all, all week, um, this this what it's susceptible at. We can get through that. So um, it came out, and the guy reached around, and Nico pulled the, the other guy, so he couldn't get no hand on me. And I jumped through, and I, I was right there. The ball actually hit me in the face. So, <laughs> We can be better, you know. We 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 made a lot of mistakes um, in the second half, which uh, caused deep balls and and, and touchdowns, obviously. Um, but we, but we stayed together, you know. We never got down. We never got down on the offense. We never got down on special teams. We never got down on defense. And we was helping everybody, picking everybody up, you know. And that's how we came out. Well, everybody predicted us to lose every game this year. Every game that, that we didn't had, um, I, I watched. I look at the predictions. We predicted to lose every game um, so far, and we, and we won. So I was like, what do they have to say about us now? You know, they, they're probably going to say we're tough on defense, um, we're tough on special teams, we're tough on offense. We can run the ball, and we can also throw it. So what do they have to say about us now? I really didn't, didn't plan on nothing else but a make. You know, that's Cairo. I believe in Cairo from day one. You know, he showed everybody last year what he can do. 
and he came out today and he proved it again. You know, he he got he has that award for for a reason. And when it went through, I did just like Arlene's. I ran around everywhere. You know, the, well, the first thing I did, I I went to the student section and jumped in the crowd. You know, that's they was they were loud all the game. They they affected the game, and and we're we're grateful for them. And